This is Joe Basquez with a special report from ESC Boston for Footwasher Media. And with me at the moment is John Labos. Did I say that yeah. correct? That's good enough. From Micrium, the president of Micrium. How are you today? I'm doing good. Thank you for taking the time to talk with me. You bet. Um, can you tell me a little bit about Micrium, how long you guys have been around, and what it is you do? We've been uh, founded in 1999. Uh, we're based in uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And uh, we basically do real-time operating systems and tools. And we're, I, the company's popular because I wrote a book called Microsoft OS 1 in 1992. I did another one in 1998 called Microsoft OS 2. And recently, in 2009, we introduced Microsoft OS 3, which is the li latest generation of real-time operating system. And we also do TCP IP, file system, GUI, uh, uh, Modbus, CAN bus, uh, all these uh, embedded software components. So we're in the embedded software components business. And how's that business been for you the last it's year? Been I mean. very good, actually. We, if you look at the recent surveys, we're considered the number one RTOS manufacturer in 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 the world based on the UBM survey. Okay, well, you guys are doing good, but how about the rest of the market? Is it overall, overall, it's doing quite well. Uh, we don't can't really complain. Um, it's been a growing market for us. We've been growing at a steady state for the past uh, ever since we started in 1999. You expect that to continue? Absolutely. We we don't we see nothing but uh, but good things. I mean, certainly the uh, the ARM Cortex is is moving uh, quite well. The uh, Renaissance parts are also moving quite well. So there's a there's a big uh, big growth in the industry we see. I noticed that you guys had some special uh, software for Element 14 specifically in partnership yep. there. Can you tell me exactly what that is that you posted up there and why that's important to that community? We uh, we. Uh, our, our Microsoft OS 1 was source available, our Microsoft OS 2 was source available, and we recently introduced our Microsoft OS 3 as source available, which means that people could actually download the source code from our website or, or from the Elman 14 website and be able to actually play with it, evaluate it, and then once you decide to use it in a commercial product, then we expect you as a customer to purchase a license for its use. So we offer the, the source code, and full source code, it's not crippled, it's not limited in any way. You can actually play with that uh, for evaluation purposes. It's also free for educational use, so if you're using that in a, in a college or university setting, then you're able to use that for free and or peaceful research. Uh, so we offer the source code uh, for free download. We also offer the PDF of the book in the full PDF of the book, so that's like 950 page. We have six versions of the of the book, uh, Microsoft OS 3. We have uh, one for TI, we have one for NXP, we have one for ST, we have two for Renaissance, and we have one for Freescale. If somebody from the Element 14 community wants to get a copy of those books, they get them off your website, or? You, you could get, get it from our website or from the Element 14 website, the Node. Excellent. Okay, thank you for taking the time to talk with me today. Thank you.